Byron Tate. Yeah. I played ball with Byron Tate since, like I say, since we were little kids, and we've done everything together. We traveled together. He is, uh, he's like the brother almost that I never had when it comes to playing ball. I mean, I don't see him a lot other than during ball season, but when we are, it's like we never skip the beat, you know? I've been playing ball for 35 years, um, 40 now, and uh, played some college ball and um, Team Canada on the national team in, in 84. I've had a lot of experience in the game, uh, some really good coaching and, uh, you know, lots, lots of reps, a lot of hitting, a lot of ground balls, a lot of, I've seen and played on the same team with a lot of good players. Um, definitely knows a lot about baseball, you know, and uh, he is an asset to our team that we can't not have. I mean, he's got to be there. How you doing, buddy? Love, love it's hard to explain. Byron, you know, he's a bit of a screw up in college, you know, when he went down there. He uh, got himself in some trouble, and, you know, I mean, it, with the coaches and stuff. And he almost got himself kicked off the team, off the mic, because I went to college with him in junior college. I got him down there. I said, you know, we need Byron Tate. And I knew he was a great ball player. Oh, play one bag now. Okay. Got a trapper. He's, his talent is just, it's, a lot of it's unmatchable, you know, when he was younger. Now he's, you know, he's getting older and hurt, but he still has that same drive and knowledge. Yeah, Byron Tate, yeah, definitely somebody you want around with ball, for sure. Again, old I know that the teams we're going to be facing, especially these American guys, they're, uh, they're good. They're, they're really fundamentally sound, you know, and when they get an opportunity to get you out, a ground ball or a fly ball, they take advantage of it and they get you out, you know. They throw strikes, they put the ball in play, and uh, they put the pressure on you. And I mean, if you give them a chance to hurt you, if you give them a chance to beat you, they will, you know. So I know they're going to be good, but I know that we can be just as good and that we're, we, we're prepared, you know, we're ready to go. So I figure if we set our sights high and we, you know, even hit halfway, we're still going to be all right. So I'm a little nervous about how we're going to do, you know, the guys are going to have butterflies and be a little anxious, but if we, once that, we get that first out, you know, we get that first hit or whatever, we'll be into it and uh, I think we can get on a roll and, and do well. I think uh, anytime you go into something like that, uh, originally you're, you're tight right off the bat. Um, we went in there with maybe uh, too high of expectations, in my opinion, right at the beginning. Um, it, it's not going to be a cakewalk, I knew that, and, and that showed in our first game. We struggled in our first game, we made a lot of mental errors, some physical errors. A game one, I think we, uh, our personnel alignment might have been a little bit out. We possibly, uh, first of all, we showed up a little late. We couldn't find the park. It was tough. Um, we could have maybe um, started a couple different guys, you know. And um, so that was tough. And we just had some hard luck. We weren't quite ready defensively in our alignments and stuff. And uh, we faced a couple teams that were, uh, that were really ready to go and we weren't quite ready and as it turned out we we figured we're better teams than those two teams we lost to but as we know in baseball anybody can win on any given day right our first game that we played that day was nothing but a massive error go through a tent over and call the circus if you'd like uh we didn't have anything together the first game it was just atrocious i think there was 12 errors or 14 errors it was just bad um, pop flies into the glove, dropping to the ground. That's just, I mean, we're all better than that. We're all better than that. Anyway, whatever it was, it was. The next game, our defense picked it up, and our bats didn't. So we dropped too early. Um, so, okay, we put those behind us, and I thought the highlight of the whole tournament for this team in particular was that we, we won four games in a row. 
We didn't leave any gas in the tank. We laid it on the line, and the guys came together as a team. I've never seen like 15 guys come together as a unit like they did in those four games. We weren't, we didn't have that in the first two games, and we came together in the uh, in the la in those four games of the the round robin. Like Byron said, we just came together as a team and totally, uh, there wasn't anybody could beat us, I don't think, anybody. I mean, those four games were magic. I almost cried. You know, goosebumps in the, I remember sitting in the dugout saying, cherish this moment, guys, this is magic. It's bloody magic.